Hello guys, hello everybody. I'm Dimitris, I'm coming from Greece and I'm creator of Splitter. Today I'm going to show you how to create some awesome before and after sliders and implement it in your projects. That's sweet. Today what we're going to see is um, Splitter. It's a JavaScript tool for Webflow and actually not only Webflow, it also has applications inside vanilla JavaScript too, so you can just take it and um, put on every side you want. And what it is, it's a before and after slider. So you put any kind of content you want to the left, any content you want on the right, and you have a comparison slider and it's immersive and it's good for the uh, user experience. So it's this, it's a slider where we have the before and after transformations. All right, so what we're going to do today is actually give you like the glimpse how to create on your own inside Webflow and what's the anatomy behind it. So basically for me, it's also very interesting because many medical procedures have this, um, this slider, the before after slider, especially in dentistry where people can show their smile transformations, for example. Um, some other use cases might be like body transformation, like automobile transformation, and it has so many, many applications. So before we start, let's see what's a before after slider and later we'll see what's the anatomy of a slider like this. Here I'm going for um, an example of Slack, how they redesigned their homepage and that would work as a slider, you see? So Slack, that one was the old homepage and it was redesigned in this one. That's a perfect example of a before after slider. When you put it side by side and you are actually relocating the, uh, the slide bar and you see the exact transformation it underwent. Here is another one example, a very close one to the FinSuite community, a Relum component. You see here, it's just a generic component built by Adam. And this one, I'm not sure who designed this, but look at this, this component turned into this one. That's great. That's also great for a slider use case. And <laughs> this one, the unknown Gman is from Board Panda. That's also a great use case for a slider for the body transformations. All right, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, architecture, buildings, and rooms could be a great use case um, in car and automotive transformations, medical transformations, and actually what your, whatever your heart wants, right? So let's begin of what is an anatomy of a splitter. What's this before or after that we are seeing? What's, what's this exactly? what's before and what's after, because it's not the same image. So we have the container, that's the container behind it. Let's say this one is blue. That's the container. So that's the splitter container, that's the main container you will have. Inside this one, we need to have two images. So what really goes behind the scenes is that one image is placed on the back and the other one is placed on top of it. So we have then a mask that covers and uncovers the images. So basically it's, here it's to, it would go the first image This one, that's the before image, okay? That's the before image. It will have to span the whole container from top to down and left to right. And then we have the second image here, which is inside this masking container. So basically it's, here it's blue. Blue. I'll make it red because blue is the first one. All right. So
again, let's say, let's go again. Uh, we have the container here, the spider container. We have the first image, which is the before image, which spans the whole width and height of the container. And on top of that, we have the after, the after image. So these actual images are placed on top of each other and they are like the same dimensions. The only thing that changes is that on the top image, the, the after image we're saying, we have a mask. So we cover until a point we want, for example, the 50%. That's where the handle goes. And it works like this. We have the handle here. Let's say this is the handle. So when we are pushing the handle here, we're actually unmasking the second image. All right? Maybe this will be more prominent. Yeah. We are unmasking the second image. So let's go and build this in Webflow and see how it works. I have a client first clonable here ready. Let's put our. Let's create our first example. Going for the full client first name here. Part section, I believe, yeah. Part section bottom. All right. And now we can start creating our splitter. So it's a div lock. Let's call this splitter one component. Um, yeah, so this will be our splitter container. That's what will house the uh, both of our images that will be compared to each other. Um, we will need to give this a specific size, um, for example, 70 viewport width and the height of 60, let's say, viewport height. Now, I have already included the code inside the head here. So here is the documentation for Splitter. I just installed the code here in the head of the website, of the web page. Um, yeah, so let's see the Webflow attributes. The Splitter container has a DC Splitter Splitter attribute. Let's take this and let's transfer it to the main container. Right? Yeah. That looks cool, right? So now what happens is we have three different um, items inside the component. One is the before a container. One is the after container, and one is for the handlebar container. So let's get to do that. Let's call this splitter one before. Yeah. This will have the this splitter before attribute. So here we will have to go. And as we said, have the total width of our container, right? And here we will drop our first image. Let's say we need to do a Slack website here. All right? So we have here width 100%, height 100%. Now we need to put the image to fit our box here and set it to cover or I believe what happens here with the other image let's go again come on webflow through the wrong component right 
let's go again splitter one before attributes dc splitter before okay this has to span the whole width and height of the component but again yeah 100 percent. we have it already here and because we will need to put the image the second image the other image above it we need to place this absolutely so set this to relative and this one to position absolute so let's take the image all right yeah nice we're getting there slowly because these properties are the same, and if we want to create other splitters, we can just name them before props or properties. That's the properties of the content, actually, not the image. You, you can put whatever you want here. It's the same, like um, images, videos, background videos, whatever you want. Now we are done with the before content. Now let's place the after do you remember what the after looked like it's actually the same but it's in a masking container it has to be like this exactly so whenever you are pulling the handlebar it will have to be at the same position as the first image as the before image so let's get to do this this one will have to be set in flexbox also After, all right. Height 100% of its parent container. Position set to absolute. Let's bring this to the right. And let's give it like 50%. You see, it, that's where the image will be cropped. This is where the image will be masked. Now, now that you have the, the second container, you understand that the content inside it will have to be like the splitter, the before. So now this actually works as, as just a masking container, nothing more. So whatever we put here, it will have to be the same size as the before. Let's see. One hundred percent of our container. Let's see the image also. Let's see of the Slack redesign. Here is something interesting. Yeah. So if you see here, I'm putting 70 viewport width. That's how the total width of the component was. And as I told you, you will need to have it placed like in the full size, like the first one, like the, the before container. Here we need to remove this max width that it's preset by Webflow because we need none here to take the whole space. Do you see what happened here? And now, with cropping the overflow, we are having the 50% the of only the, the after. Let's name these two splitter one after props as this will work as properties for any kind of splitter. And we have to give this, I believe, an attribute of this is splitter after this should be already working yeah well that works so again if you can see we have a container preset at 70 viewport width we have our first container that takes the full amount the full width and height of the container 
and we are trying to do the same with the second image on top. So here, this um, including container will work as a mask of the second image. I will go on and create the handbar too. Let's call this handlebar. All right. I believe this one goes with. Please excuse me for any mistakes. All right. So now we need to put our handlebar. And like the good one, the good thing about Splitter is that we can actually customize everything the way we want it. So yeah, the handlebar. Let's place it, for example. Um, in the middle here, let's give it the height of 100%. This will effectively take the height of the whole container. Let's say here, for example, 0 0.75 rem. Let's make it also, I don't know. Yeah, this one neon green color. Let's make it absolute to see it. So here, the way we are Moving this is because we have, if you remember, we have this set to relative container, the parent container. When set this to absolute, it will go to the position we actually want it. So we have, if you remember, our before container set to 50% of width. So we can move our handlebar to 50%, like this. 50%. Yeah? And I believe we are ready. All right. That works. This would work also with CMS too. Okay, I'll go on and create one. Let's call this CMS. All right. Padding global, pad global, container large. Uh, this is pad section medium, I believe. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we will drop our collection list. And we have it connected to patients. Whoa. That's interesting. So this item will be the container, the splitter container. Let's give it some width. I like the 70 viewport width. I like the 60 viewport height again. Let's call this Splitter CMS. This one will be the Splitter CMS before container. We're going to give this the attribute of this is Splitter before. We'll give this one here. This is Splitter Splitter. And let's go and build the before container. Again, the before container will take the 100% of its parent, 100% of the width and the height. It will need to be super absolutely positioned. So we need to do this as a relative and this one as absolute. Now we can drop images from our patients. That's the before image of our patients. Oh, look at this, some teeth, some not very nice teeth. Let's create our splitter CMS after container. Now, if you remember, because we need it to be side by side, we need to set this to Flexbox. 
Um, we have already set everything here perfectly. Yeah, CMS after. 100% of the height. Let's move it to the right here. What's going on? Ah, the image. The image is not set here. 100% of everything. Let's set this to cover. So again, the after width, the after container, let's say we want it to 50%. You see, wherever we put this one here is where the handlebar will go. And that's how much of the content will be unmasked. I like 50% usually. 50% is what it actually works for most of the people. But the beauty with this one is that you can create um, the percent that you want. So if you want to just show the 30%, you can show the 30% and put that handbar there. I will also show afterwards how we can interact with handbar. Um, yeah, splitter after. Now let's create our image. Let's take it from the after image. All right. Now we have you remember, we have to give this image the full width of our container. Remove the max width because we don't need that percent. And we need it to be placed absolute. So that's what we have. One image absolutely, a second image absolutely, and the after container, which works effectively as a mask. That's a trick here. And here we need to cut the overflow. Wow. Well, look at that. The splitter after. Yeah, yeah, correctly. That's set up correctly. It should be working right now. Yeah. Wow. Look at this transformation of the teeth. And again, the Handlebar is probably the easiest part. Where's my div log? Yeah, yeah. Handlebar, it goes, takes the DC splitter handle. Again, we need to set this height to 100% so it takes the full height of the container. You don't have to. You, you can do whatever you want with the handlebar. The script will automatically understand what, which one is the handlebar and accommodate itself to the touching and the clicking positions. So if you want, you can make it like 50% if you want to do a specific kind of handlebar. I like it like this. So position absolute. And if you remember, we can set this wherever we want. I usually like the 50%. So let's first give it a color and so afterwards. Let's make it purple, purplish. And now let's move it. 30%. 30 pixels, no, 50%. We wanted that, come on, 50%, All right? Yeah, nice. So here you can go crazy and do whatever you want with the styling. For example, let's say we need it to have the cursor set to pointer. We can do this. We can also see that here. We can also set an animation, for example, when we are um, or for example, for opacity, let's say opacity, we can do anything we want in transitions also. Let's say on hover, we need the opacity to go to 80%. And set the transition to is. We don't need this. 
Look at that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it works too. We have both the cursor change and the hover animation change here. You can change colors, you can create even more complicated handlebars. And this works well with any kind of content because what really was the idea is to have just two containers here and put everything inside, everything you want inside these containers. Everything, like whatever you want, you can put here. I can show this for example. I would like to make a tribute to the, the Relum guys also. Because I really love how you can style their generic contents. One thing I didn't show is how I can how I can place a handlebar, for example, at 30% here. And yeah. So once you have you want your handlebar at 30%, you will need to put the after container to show the 7%. And you have a handlebar more to the left right now. You see? That's the starting position. That would work with any kind of content in this inside the container. You can create a video also. That would work also. Yeah, let's see one. Let's remove the uh, play pause buttons. Let's remove this one. Mm, let's splitter one before props. Take the same properties and not do this again. Splitter one after props is it uploaded yeah this works too uh, it's difficult to find so um, to find videos that are exactly the same uh, and one tip guys is that you want your images to be focused and uh, central positioned and be actual the same like like this one. It's more immersive, it's better, and it's, I believe that's how I built it. I had this in my mind. Because when you are taking different kind of angles and alignment, it doesn't show that good compared to this one, for example. And again, here you can also place anything you want from text, for example, Here, since this one is absolutely positioned like this, we need to give this one absolutely positioned, this container that we need to put some information also. Um, div block, yeah. So now it's in the before container. Because we are showing only the 50% of the before container, we can just set its width of 50% here, 100%. So look at what pay, space we are occupying right now, all right? So let's say, for example, we need some text. Now it's super easy to do. Let's have our text block. Let's take our text from our patients. Her name is Jane Doe. Let's have her age. That's typical of like medical information, presentational information. And we have a smiley construction. Now this works normally as a normal div look. Let's say, um, what else? The type. Let's make it more white, right? Jane Doe, 34 years old, smile construction. Okay, so yeah, here you could present also the information of the patient. 
for example, in this case. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you to the next one.